guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to solve day 6 problem of this month on lead code before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it now without any delay let's get started with today's problem so today i'm going to solve problem number 3217 delete notes from linked list present in array okay so this is very easy problem actually so in this problem you are given an array of integers nums and the head of a linked list we have to return the head of a modified linked list after removing all the nodes from the linked list that have a value that exists in nums okay so see here so very simple uh, this is nums array given to us okay and this is the head of a linked list given to us so in nums array uh, let's first create one set of this nums array okay i don't want to see the duplicate values so it is easy for me to search for the nodes okay in the set i'm just going to simply uh, write one operation if my set dot contains any value okay so it will simply give me the answer in true or false okay so if that value of uh, this head node is there in my set then i'm just not going to uh, add that in my final list okay so here see one is there in my set okay this is my set two is there in my set three is there in my set okay so i'm not going to uh, return them in my final list okay i'm going to remove all this one two three and simply i'm going to return four and five right this is my output so how i'm going to solve this problem okay now uh, let's see so here uh, this is uh, the these are the nodes right one two okay and three then four then five okay so what i'm going to do uh, first i'm going to create a set of this nums array okay in the set i'm going to add all the elements one two and three okay then after that uh, i'm going to create one dummy node okay so let's say this is zero and this is my dummy node okay and n is also pointing to the dummy okay and curve is pointing to the head of my linked list okay okay so i'm going to check uh, while my cur is not equal to null so right now my cur is not equal to null so what i'm going to check after that that if my set dot contains cur dot value okay so if it contains then i don't uh, i just need to move my cur to the next position okay if my set contains the cur value so now my cur moves to the next position okay now again my set contains this cur dot value right so again my cur is going to move to the next position so now my cur reaches at this position okay so done then again my set contains this uh, value right so again my cur is going to move to the next position so now my cur reaches to this position okay easy so now i will see if my set contains this cur value so no my set doesn't contain this cur value so what i'm going to do here i'm going to update my n dot next okay this is my n n dot next i'm going to point it to this cur value okay so this is nothing but my n dot next okay and dot next is pointing to this and then after that i'm just going to operate this as my new n okay this is done okay then after that again my cur is going to move to the next position okay so now my cur reaches to this position cur reaches to this position then again i'm going to check if my set contains this cur value so my set doesn't contain this cur value so then my n dot next is going to point to this cur okay so this is nothing but n dot next okay and then this is going to become my n okay this is done right so now after that my cur is going to move to the next position okay so here my cur moves okay so now cur is null okay cur is null so right now i don't need to do anything okay so once this operation is done so right now my n is the here now so what i'm going to do in the end i'm just going to point n dot next to null value okay simply saying that i'm ending here okay this is null this is done okay so see here n initially my n was here then my n moves to this one then my n moves to this one and then my n moves to the null okay so in the end what i'm going to do in the end i'm just going to return my dummy dot next okay dummy dot next i'm going to return in the end okay so see dummy is at this and dummy dot next simply means this four right i have removed all this there is no connection so dummy and n okay so see here from here there is only one connection huh, going to four so dummy dot next i'm pointing so dummy dot next is starting from four and after that four five is there and then null is there none we don't need to write okay so four and five is going to be my output easy right so now i'm going to write the same thing in the code let's write the set okay in set we are going to have integer values right so let's name it as set a uh, new hash set 
now after that let's iterate over my nums array one by one and let's add all the values in the set okay so nums dot length i plus plus and here inside this set dot add nums of i okay this is done then after that uh, just uh, create one list node occur and point it to the head of my link list and take one more list node dummy and just uh, create one new list node okay and here just to give the value of this list node as 0 and create one more list node let's name it as n and n is pointing to let's say dummy okay then i am going to run one while loop in the while loop i am just checking if while my cur is not equal to null okay so if it is not equal to null then after that i am just going to check if my set doesn't contain this cur dot value okay it's going to check immediately if my set uh, contains this cur dot value or not okay then after that if it doesn't contain okay then my n dot next is going to point to the cur okay this is what i explained in the diagram right and then my n is going to become this uh, n dot next okay you see and cur is always moving to the next position cur is equal to cur dot next okay so once all this is done then i am just going to say that my n dot next in the end it is going to point to null and here i am just going to return dummy dot next that's it okay now let's run the code and see if there are any code issues so here let's fix it okay so see all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it So see, our solution is accepted, right? So I hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem. If you guys still have any doubts, then please feel free to ask in comment section. Till then, keep coding and keep practicing. Meet you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.